<laughs> everybody, how's it doing? How's it going? And today we, uh, well not today, but yesterday me and my brother, we watched the Twisters movie. Nothing like watching um, a, a Tornado Alley movie in Tornado Alley. Because we yeah. actually live in Oklahoma. So. <laughs> we get naders often. We get naders often. We got one a month ago. So, the movie actually wasn't that bad. I, I actually enjoyed the characters. Yeah, and, it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. um, every time there was a tornado on screen, I actually got like this like hit in my stomach. It made me feel uncomfortable. There was like a tornado every 20 minutes. I know. It it actually barely dragged at all. Yeah, like, it kept it, it interesting. It, they kept it pretty interesting. And they kind of did something with the two main characters I didn't think they would do. Is, um, okay, obviously, there's our main protagonist is a girl, and she falls in love with this tornado chaser. Wrangler. A, a wrangler, whatever, right? The tornado wranglers. They have it. They had, in the them. movie, they had a YouTube. Anyway, the girl and the guy, they quit. They obviously have feelings for each other, but they don't kiss. Like, yeah. during the whole movie, you expect them to start smooching it up, you know, maybe even clapping cheeks, but no, they don't, <laughs> they don't kiss, like, at all. Not even a hug. No. It's, that was kind of awkward because there was like a whole chase the girl through the airport scene, mm -hmm. and there was like, let's go catch some tour dates. Yeah, so. I know. There. Hello. <laughs> you were you were kind of like off in the corner, like, like a gremlin. Just, I, I lost this one with Terry. Yeah, and you were like a big fat giant. Oh, oh I'm your big. <laughs> well, look at me. Okay, we're, we're getting <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> um, no, uh, we enjoyed the movie. The music was actually kind of suspenseful, I like it. You know, yeah, it kept, kept you on your toes, especially at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say anything though. I mean, it didn't do too much different from the original Twisters movie, which I can't really recall much because it was been a long time since I watched the original. The original one had more death. The original one had a lot more death. I wanted more death. Yeah. This one, but this one was wholesome. Mm hmm This one was, I mean, it only killed people when it seemed necessary. Yeah. To me. But, you know, at the same time, it also kept things suspenseful. Like, ooh, are these people going to die? Are they going to live? Like, and die. The visuals on the tornadoes were really good, too. Yeah. Um, big tornadoes. Big tornadoes. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to say about the movie? Or? I mean... You said a lot of what I was gonna say, but I mean, it got, there was times where it was suspenseful, and then you were worried about some characters because I like some characters. But there's this other guy that was kind of annoying, and he got his treatment. He didn't get killed, sadly, but he got his treatment. Ah, uh, um, one thing I actually had a problem with the movie is that they kind of okay, so. They have this land, like, this landowner, he's coming in, and he's, like, taking advantage of these people uh, after people. a tornado hit, and he's trying to get, buy their land off of them, and they never expanded on that. Yeah. Like, they just kind of like, oh, yeah, this is happening, oh, well. Yeah, they never really it told us what was going on. The main character just searched up online. Oh, I see, he's buying land off people whose houses just got destroyed, so... There's that, There's and that's that. all that they ever said about that. Yeah, they didn't. They like, never went in, in, into any more detail. I was kind of hoping they'd expose this guy, yeah, kind of being the turd that he is, but they just didn't go anywhere with it. No. Nope. And the dude behind that plot was just barely on screen in the first place. Yeah, he was only on screen like two or three times. That's another problem. I, that's a problem I had with the movie. Um, some of the side characters were enjoyable. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> but, I like the um, some of the. The Wranglers. Yeah, the Wranglers, they were fun. Like they, yeah, it, funny. they definitely kept things interesting. And, um, and the movie did take place in Oklahoma, you know, like the original one. And did, it was so. based off real tornadoes that happened mm -hmm. in time. Like so. the one that happened in El Reno, I think, in like 2012. I don't remember. Was it? All right. I don't remember. I don't remember. But yeah, no, we're, uh, it was a great movie. I, yeah. I enjoyed it. I mean, I wouldn't, it's not perfect. It's just kind of a, just a thriller, you know, disaster movie. I usually give those like a six, maybe out of yeah. ten, seven out of ten. Yeah, I'd probably give it like a six or seven. It's not great, but it's just there for fun. So yeah. that's pretty much all I have to say about the if movie. If you like tornadoes, go watch the movie. <laughs> go watch the movie. <laughs> I recommend it. <laughs>
All right, that's about all we have time for today. So thank y'all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.